Hello, good morning. It is currently, it is about 22 nine on a Wednesday, day before Halloween. Uh, I thought I would do a little bit of a day in the life today. So I'm eating my breakfast. So I'll let you know what I'm doing while I'm, I'm chomping. So I thought what I would do is kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of where I'm at right now with all of my projects and then maybe what I, I'm thinking about potentially doing with today. Um, Project Camerlato is my fiction novel. I queried it at the beginning of this year. However, I had that thing where immediately upon starting to send it out, I realized something was wrong. Between somebody sending me a manuscript request and their response back to me, I figured out exactly what was wrong. They said that there was something fundamentally wrong with it as well, that agent did. Um, I told them I figured out what it was. It was a structural problem. I have to rewrite the entire book. And I asked him if he would be willing to wait and then read the new version when I'm done with it. He said yes. Super exciting. So I wrote it July, August, September. I did the edits pretty fast, almost too fast, because I now have done line edit work on it, and there was a lot more work on the line edits than there normally is, just because normally some of the issues I would have fixed on the rough draft to first draft rewrite, which I did not do. But anyway, I now have uh, finished the line edits. I finished it um, on Monday, so that's exciting which basically means that I'm happy to go ahead and send it to that agent pretty much any time now. Trying to work with anybody in December is impossible. So my goal was to send it to him in the beginning of November. So like within, <laughs> within the next week, basically, to send it to him. So that way he had November to read it before he started to get, you know, fatigued. That's assuming that he'll get back to me this calendar year. He might not but I wanted to send it to him before then. Knowing that he was there was kind of a nice motivation to get this finished, which was nice. So that's where I'm at with Project Camerlato. For the nonfiction stuff, I wrote a sample chapter for the proposal for a tabletop role-playing game book. I wrote the sample chapter, I need to edit the sample chapter. I prefer editing physically rather than on a screen. I don't know why my brain just can't focus on a screen. So we do need to do that. I need to get it printed and I need to get it edited. Today, there is a meeting. Meeting makes it sound really formal. There is a get together <laughs> of writers in the Salisbury, Wiltshire area. We meet up once a month, but basically I have that to go to today. I'm typically there for a couple of hours just because I'm the one who runs it. So I want to show up a little bit before everybody else and I want to be the last one leaving. So uh, I tend to be there from about 10.30 till about 1, 1.30, depending on how it goes. So I'm probably gonna be there for a significant portion of today. I guess today's list is I have to print out and edit a sample chapter for the nonfiction book proposal that a publisher is currently waiting for. I need to go to an author event and hang out. I need to check in with the beta readers, see where they're at. And then I also potentially, depending on what that response is, need to go ahead and send my draft of my fiction novel to the agent who is currently waiting for it. The other thing is I wanna kind of spend a little bit of time thinking about 2025 and some of the projects that I do want to be doing in that year, what the timelines are for those, what I need to be doing in those early stages so I can start thinking about when to take those on. Especially because I have some ideas for some nonfiction that are really outside of what I typically write nonfiction wise, but I kind of want to give it a try. <laughs> oh great, someone's washing the windows. Lovely. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna keep going and pretend that's not happening. It's a lot of finishing up of some projects and kind of thinking about the start of the next one is what we're doing today. So it's a bit of a weird day. It's probably one that I wouldn't normally film, but I thought, well, we might as well. 
So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then um, we will probably have a little bit of time to do something at the house before I have to go to the author meetup. home I thought about staying out and going to another cafe or something but I do so few social things these days that like a two-hour group setting in a coffee shop is just it's just a lot for me so I decided to stay back I did get hold on the camera's 
on this, so let's, there we go. Um, I did get my writing sample um, printed at the library, so I'm going to edit this now and we'll see if I get around to doing some story brainstorming because right now it is 1.45. So we'll see how long this takes me. I think this takes precedence. And um, I think the other thing that I will do is I will email off my draft of my fiction novel to that agent. The beta reader was there, didn't mention anything, was kind of avoiding all conversation about it. So I'm assuming that they haven't really gotten that far into it or they hate it and they don't intend on finishing it. I don't really know. So either way, I'm just not gonna wait around for it. I think we're gonna go ahead and send it off, but I know that the minute I send it off, I'm not gonna be very focused on work. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is edit first then I'll send off the email and then we'll kind of see where we're at. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do.
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and send this draft to the agent. Ah! Oh! Okay, this is my last shot with this one, so I hope it goes well. But, you know what? If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll be fine. Okay, update time. I have sent off the proposal for the tabletop role-playing game book. After I did the sample chapter edits, I just figured I'm probably not gonna look at it again, so I might as well send it off. So I sent it to the publisher that has been waiting for it. And I have now sent off the uh, draft of Project Caramel Latte to the agent who is waiting for it. So those are two <laughs> big things off of my desk which leaves me with not much else to do today except brainstorming. So I have to fill in a couple of things in my bullet journal for November, like fill out my calendar and stuff like that. And then um, I think we do a little bit more just kind of, I don't know, thinking about what we're doing, that kind of stuff. Easy, easy rest of day. And then I think I'm gonna call it at least an hour early just to celebrate the fact that I submitted some big important things today. So let's do that. Okay, so I sat down to do the bullet journal calendar stuff and a wave of exhaustion hit me, probably because of the big submissions that I submitted today. So I think if, if I pushed through and did some stuff anyway, I probably wouldn't be very good. And it's all just kind of brainstorming, thinking of future anyway. So there's nothing, like there's no deadlines on any of that stuff. So I think I might just call it early. Um, it's about 3.30, so it's not, it's a bit early. <laughs> it's a bit early, but I'm not gonna feel guilty about it. So I did though, before I said goodbye to you, I wanted to make a note about these things that I have submitted and talk to you a little bit about them 
because I have mentioned in both of them that these people were waiting for me. So the agent was waiting for this resubmission and the publisher was asking for this proposal. That does not mean that these are any more likely to be accepted than if I had like cold contacted them from the beginning. Because in both cases I did cold contact them, but it was just a while ago and with either different versions or different proposals. Um, so just because they were waiting and asking for things doesn't necessarily mean that it's an automatic yes. That's not how this works. I don't have any more of a chance for them to say yes than I did, you know, way before when I didn't know them yet. That was just something that I really wanted to stress because I, I think I didn't quite understand how stuff like that would work when I was first getting into things. I just thought that if somebody was like, oh yeah, a publisher's waiting for this, it was like, oh, look at you. Like, <laughs> You got it. But that's just not how it works. Um, this publisher is a university press, which some university presses do publish non-academic general nonfiction books from academics, but that doesn't necessarily mean that these people are likely to. I have seen them publish that before. That doesn't mean that that's what they're expecting me to give them, which it is what I gave them. So if that's not what they're expecting, or if the approach that I've taken isn't what they like, or they don't like my writing sample, like they were basing their contact on me purely based off of the academic books that I have written. That's why they responded. And I had contacted them with a proposal for a completely different book. And they just said they weren't interested in that one, but they like what I do and therefore are interested in something else. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to like this specifically, right? Because they didn't like the other one. Um, likewise for the agent, uh, this was a fiction novel that I had queried and he said no. He said no and that there were issues and with the structure of it, I said I recognized it and I'm going to rewrite it and he said he'd be happy to read the rewrite he could still dislike it, <laughs> you know? He could still dislike the structure. He could still think that I have a lot more to learn. And to be honest, I probably do have a lot more to learn. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a yes. Um, it is just as much of a submission for a query as if they weren't waiting for it to begin with. However, knowing that they were waiting for it was really good motivation. It was really good to spur me on to actually finish these things. I probably wouldn't have finished the proposal for the tabletop role-playing game book um, this early. I was planning on not looking at it again until January until they reached out to me and said, hey, you said you were gonna be writing this, have you finished yet? So anyway, that's just what I, I just wanted to specify because I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with these. And it is entirely likely that both come back with no's and I have to repeat the querying process. For the fiction novel with the agent I sent it to, if he does say no, I plan on going through the whole querying process, starting over again with this draft, starting in January. As I mentioned before, I just don't see any point in starting things like that closer to Christmas. I just don't think people have the mental bandwidth. I think people are already checked out and they're going to be leaving their desks early. It's just not worth stressing over when I don't necessarily need to. And this also allows the agent that is waiting for it to have time to get back to me before I start the querying process again. For the tabletop role-playing game book, I do have two options available to me uh, if this publisher says no. And to be honest, I still have two even if this publisher says yes, but the point is that I, I have some options that I can do. The first is that I can just submit it to another publisher, which is very likely. The other one, is that I can wait to send it to a publisher and first get a research grant. I have been doing research on different research grants and uh, I have a couple picked out. Some of them require me to have contracts, some of them don't. Some of them require me to have done a load of research already. Some of them require it to be new off the ground. So I'm gonna kind of see how I feel as well as look at when some of these windows are opening and what happens with this publisher before I decide one way or the other on it. But that's kind of where 
I'm at at the moment is is figuring out exactly what I want to do with that. I also have many, many other nonfiction projects that I could be continuing doing or chasing, including a new genre that I'm thinking of stepping into for nonfiction. Part of today was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do in those cases that somebody says no. So I think I'm gonna kind of take the time to just think rather than do things and wait to hear back. And then I think in January is when I will kind of be hitting the ground running. In the meantime, we're gonna still be doing some research on some stuff I have to do. And I am going to be starting to write book two of Project Caramel Latte, which I have dubbed Project Pumpkin Spice Latte. Can you see a theme? going with these project titles. The idea is that this would be a series of books and a lot of times publishers like signing up authors with more than one book in their contract and so if I can have more than one book kind of ready to go then that helps. It really does. And I'm also thinking about working on some of those smaller projects that I was considering when I was brainstorming this morning. So anyway, I just wanted to more, more to the point, I wanted to specify that just because I had someone emailing me saying, have you written that proposal yet? Doesn't necessarily mean that the proposal is going to be accepted. Just because I had an agent saying, sure, I'll give it another shot, doesn't mean he's gonna like it. I, I am cautiously optimistic it's an attitude I like to have for writing as a career is cautious optimism and I'm hoping that things work out but obviously like I said it has just as much possibility of it not working out as if I had approached this in a different way. I don't know if that's an upper or a downer to end, on, <laughs> to end this video on but I just thought it was important to note. Um, if you liked this video you can give it a like and all that kind of stuff and I just really wanted to say thank you for being around with me today. I always like having a point to this. I do find that having somebody watching is kind of motivation to actually work. It doesn't always work. It doesn't, it doesn't always pan out for me but it does a lot of the time so that's always nice. I think that's it. Do all the YouTube things and I will see you in the next video. Bye!